Engineer man here, time to learn about structs and struct pointers in C. No time to waste, let's do this. Today's level is beginner. I'm making no assumptions with this video. So first, what is a struct? Well, a struct is short for structure, and it's a way of logically grouping items of different data types into one variable, different than a single variable, which would be a single data type. Today we're gonna to create a person struct, but there's tons of uses. You can store anything in a struct, including other structs, Structs are used just like any other variable, except you use the dot or dash angle bracket notation to access the item in the struct. Which notation you use is going to depend on whether it's a normal struct or a pointer to a struct. So let's look at some examples. So I've created a program here. I've created my, or I've defined my struct up here. And I've, I've put two things inside it. I've put an integer called age, and I've put a character array called name. And I'm going to fill those out here in a second. So that's how you define a struct. To actually use that struct, you use the struct keyword, you specify the name of the struct, and then you specify the name of the variable. So in this case, we now have a variable called em, which is of type struct person. To set some data, notice we're using the dot syntax. Don't, don't come down here just yet. You're gonna see different syntax, and we'll explain what that is. The dot syntax is how you assign values to a property in a struct. So in this case, I'm saying em.age, and em is just short for engineer man, just something I picked, could be anything. em.age equals 32. And then I'm doing em.name, I'm allocating six bytes on the heap, and I'm copying the string literal Brian into em.name. Perfect. That's how you use a normal struct, no pointers involved. So moving on to pointers, here we're creating a pointer to the struct. So we're doing struct person again. We're doing star em pointer. And we're taking the address of the em struct. And we're assigning it to the em pointer variable. So now we have a pointer to struct. This is where the syntax changes slightly. You can still use the dot syntax, but you would first have to dereference that struct. If you watch my other videos, you can learn about dereferencing. So when I call asterisk here on em pointer, I'm getting the value of em. Once I've done that, I can use dot syntax, no problem. But as you can see, that's a little messy. I have to dereference it. I have to surround it in parentheses, because if I don't, it's going to try to dereference the whole thing, em pointer.age, and that would be an error. And then to reallocate memory for name, I have to again use that strange syntax over and over again. But this does work. This works perfectly. In fact, it's it's identical to this in its output or in its outcome. So looking at what you can do now if you're using pointers to structs is you can use the special syntax, this dash angle bracket. And that's exactly the same as, as this. So in this case, you could just do em pointer dash caret age 34, em pointer dash caret name, reallocate em pointer dash caret name, put eight bytes on the heap, and then put the string literal Brian exclamation mark exclamation mark into em pointer name. And that's it. I want to cover one other thing. If you didn't want to do this, type out struct person, you could use something called a type def. And type defs are something I'll cover in another video more in depth. But if you wanted to shorten that, you could put type def there. You could remove person from there, add it down here. And what you're essentially saying is define this as type person rather than type struct person. And if you were to do that, you could just drop struct off of here, and that would be perfectly valid. It's just a way of shortening it. But again, I'll cover that in more depth in another video. And that's it. Hopefully everyone is smarter having watched this video. If I forgot to cover something or you'd like to request a video, post a comment below. And if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. See you next time.